We're back. Somebody in the Obama camp is apparently watching our show. Last week, in response to McCain's assertion that Obama is the biggest celebrity in the world, we asked whether McCain is actually a bigger celebrity, citing his numerous appearances on Saturday Night Live, his cameo roles in Wedding Crashers in 24. Now in a new ad, the Obama camp suggests that, yes, McCain is the bigger celebrity, at least in Washington. For decades, he's been Washington's biggest celebrity. John McCain. And as Washington embraced him, John McCain hugged right back. The lobbyists running his low-road campaign. The money, billions in tax breaks for oil and drug companies, but almost nothing for families like yours. Lurching to the right, then the left. The old Washington dance, whatever it takes. A Washington celebrity playing the same old Washington games. I'm Barack Obama, and I approve this message. All right, so the McCain camp fires back today with a new web ad. Here's a portion of it. We know he doesn't have much experience and isn't ready to lead, but that doesn't mean he isn't dreamy. The aura around him is just really nice. What I love most about him is that he has very soft eyes. Hot chicks to go, mama. We're not worthy. We're not no one's laughing. I think it's funny. Joining me now, MSNBC political analyst Joe Watkins, radio talk show host Stephanie Miller, and Roy Seacoff with the Huffington Post. All right, Roy, why the sour face? <laughs> sour face, Dan? No, I mean, uh, you keep finding things hilarious that I find horribly, uh, you know, unintelligent and, and not that funny. I mean, I get the intent of the ads, but any day that they are talking about the inanity of who's the bigger celebrity, or as, as you phrased it at the beginning, who's the not as big a celebrity, is a win for McCain. It means they're not talking about the policies, which is what Obama should be talking about, and it, they're not talking about the key, the elephant in the room, which is whether mm -hmm. McCain is really ready to lead on national oh. security and the war on terror. I think which is what he is. Here's the amazing, that's the here's, here's the amazing strength, thing. But have, it's actually not. All right. I mean, now, now, look, I, we have Roy and Stephanie, who are both, at least in one time in their life, uh, comedians. And we've got <laughs> Joe Watkins, who's never in his life been a comedian. He's been a pastor. And he's, he's, sitting, there, he's sitting there laughing about this. Yeah. I mean, I, I, and let me go to Stephanie on this, though. St Stephanie, look, the, the Obama camp put out an ad mocking um, mocking McCain on this. Is this really, I mean, do you, you agree with Roy that even discussing this issue of celebrity is somehow bad for Obama? Well, you know, uh, all I can say is a comedian, Dan, the Obama ad, funny. The McCain ad, not funny. Who is his campaign manager? Pee Wee Herman? I know you are, but what am I? That's what McCain has been reduced to. And, and let me just say, Dan, the McCain ad is based on a complete lie. That Obama right. would tax everybody over $42,000 a year. That's a complete lie. And, 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 the, and the Obama ad is based on truth. He has embraced every Boy. single one Dan, of George Bush's policies. I mean, look, this, I, 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 look, this Dan, is a this bit is the meaning of the ahead, word. Go this ahead, is the meaning of the word fan. Uh, the meaning of the word fan, in reality, is fanatic. It's somebody who, who, who is so in love with a celebrity that they can't see the forest from the trees. Barack Obama, in his ad about John McCain, got it all wrong. He, he, it was funny, by the way, but, but he got it all okay. wrong because he said that John McCain voted for the big oil company giveaways, and he's the one that did in 2005 look, with that energy bill. He supported them. John look, McCain voted against uh, them. Look, you, you got, and I appreciate everyone here gets, gets kudos for bringing the topic back. Every one of you, all three of you, brought the topic back to more serious issues. But let me tell you, you guys are doing a better job of it than the campaigns are. Because here's, Dan, what, the Dan, Dan. here's what the campaigns are saying. First, Steve okay. Schmidt, McCain's senior advisor, talking about these advertisements. He says, the advertising is effective because it speaks to a truth that people instantly get. It opens the doors to an examination of what exactly are his qualifications to be president of the United States in a time of economic crisis and in a time of national security crisis. The Obama campaign responds to that. Their intent was obvious. I don't see any evidence that they're gaining with this. Obviously, his strategist met on the portico of the McCain estate in Sedona, or maybe in one of his six other houses, and decided what line of attack they were going to use. I mean, look, this is getting serious. I mean, both <laughs> campaigns are taking this issue of celebrity pretty seriously, Roy. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, it's. It, 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 I think then when you, you know, the old Freudian thing that there is no joke. I think we look at those ads and we see some subtle things in there. Did you see who was saying that McCain? I mean, that uh, Obama was dreamy. Is that shades of the Harold Ford ad to you? But do you really think so? I mean, do you think that's a fair comparison? I mean, 
And, and let me ask. Uh, He's a good looking guy. I mean, Barack Obama's a good looking guy. I mean, that, Harold Ford's a good looking guy. <laughs> <laughs> we're showing, by the way, as we're talking, we're showing this like creepy scene from John McCain when he was on Saturday Night Live portraying himself as, as a stalker. Um, let, me, let me play this. This is um, some more of the McCain uh, web ad, and uh, then we can have no smiles coming out of this from Stephanie Roy, uh, et cetera, in a minute. Okay. <laughs> You've seen him in London, Paris, and Berlin. Now, you too can join the Ones fan club right here in America. You think Elvis or the Beatles had come to town? This is amazing. I almost felt like crying when, when, uh, when he signed it. The perks are amazing, like a tax increase for everyone earning more than $42,000 a year. He's a rock star. Oh, I'd say he's at the level of Bono for me. <laughs> Able to move appetites with just a local appearance. You could feel it building at the Taco Bell across town just before lunch. We're not usually busy whenever it's raining, and it's been busy all day. So act now and don't delay. All right. So, Stephanie, put aside the, the 42,000 thing, which is a, a warped number, all right? Let's, let's agree that they've, war that they've twisted that number. Let's agree on that. The rest of the, the ad... The ad's based on a complete lie. Yeah. But, but isn't it... But that's not what the yes. ad's based on, Stephanie. The ad, the ad... I mean, Stephanie, you, you, you're always on this program, honestly, laughing and... What is it about this that's getting you so upset, honestly? Did I just seem like I smelled something bad when I saw that ad? Yes. And who is this helping, Dan? Who is this helping get health insurance? Uh, who is this I helping know. get lower Look, gas prices? I, it's like this is just it's so, so preachy. Ridiculous. I mean, but that's, it's like he's so popular Dan, and even, I hate he, him. It's this. It's like even the John McCain from a comedy level. Heather's. What, what, Roy? Even from a comedy yeah, it, level, it's not you know, funny. once you get to the Taco Bell girl, you know, we've clearly jumped the shark on the celebrity yeah. issue. Once yes. you know the, the Dan, Taco Bell girl, and, and, and Dan, 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 this right. is funny stuff. I mean, Dan, say that. Dan, as the one, I, I don't know Dan, that it's. I don't as, even know that it's that as funny. A woman, <laughs> yeah, go ahead. As a woman, go ahead. As the woman on the show tonight, yeah. I can stipulate that Barack Obama is hot. Yeah. However, <laughs> that is not right. a fair ad in a political... Uh, of course it's not. Why no not? one said it's why not? I just want to know why Roy Seacoff and Stephanie Miller tend to be the two guests who smile the most yeah. on this program. And for yeah. some reason, this topic has you both furious. <laughs> well, Dan, comedy <laughs> misused is a very bad thing. Serious <laughs> problems. They, they can't admit that Barack we Obama is a rock people. star. Know, they can't admit I that know. Barack Obama is a good-looking guy. Right. They can't admit that Barack Obama will raise everybody's taxes. I mean, but those are good. Then I can, then we, see, I, now you can get upset. Now you can get angry at what Joe said. There, now you can get but, like, you know, he's misstating the facts. He's misstating what Obama's position would be, etc. It just seems to me that the ads itself, they're both not going to be particularly persuasive. Neither one are going to define this election. And I think that they're, I think they're both a little bit fun. I don't know. Maybe but it takes up me. the oxygen, yeah, Dan. Yeah, it, ta it takes up the oxygen. Well, We're talking about you know this what, really, Dan, really good thing. All right, so... Dan, the, you should all be blaming me for doing this. <laughs> no, no, I in, like it. I'm look, liking it. In this. the fifth grade. In the fifth grade spirit, yeah, Joe of this likes it because we're not talking started. about important things. All right, all right. <laughs> no. Well, look, hey, hey Roy, I challenge no you. Like I challenge you on the Huffington Post. I'm going to go on the Huffington Post, and you better promise me that everything you have on there is serious stuff. All right? There's no entertainment. There's no media. There's nothing light. There's not this McCain ad. There's not the Obama ad. You've got it all on there, Roy. And that, we, that, we, we, yeah, that, that that's right. Yes, but we right. cover it all. And okay, I'm not saying you shouldn't I'm cover saying. it all. But I'm saying the McCain camp is not talking about it all. All right. Well, yeah, they, Joe, John McCain. Right. John McCain. Steph, was the one who was prescient in his God, remarks thought, about Russia. I got to tell you, I thought this was going to be a fun segment. This just turned out to be so <laughs> dour. But I hear you. Joyce, uh, I know, Dan. Guys, I'm thanks sorry. a lot. You know what? We're uh, usually, we're usually the comedy masks exactly. on your show. And up we're next. 